It looks mean and travels in big groups, but it's actually a scaredy cat. I'm Jonathan Bird, and this is Shark Academy. Hammerheads are very easy to identify because of that big hammer-like head. Of course, there are multiple species. The scalloped hammerhead has a particular shape that makes it easy to identify. But scalloped hammerheads are often identified because of the fact that they live in large schools. Hundreds of hammerheads. Dude. Scalloped hammerheads often come to cleaning stations where they slow down and hover over the reef to be cleaned by little fish called cleaner fish, sometimes butterfly fish, sometimes angelfish, and they pick off little parasites on their skin. Scalloped hammerheads like to feed on squid way down deep at night. So when you see them during the day and they're on the reef and they're just swimming around getting cleaned, they're not feeding. While they have this amazingly aggressive look, they look like man-eaters, right? They are scaredy cats. Scalloped hammerheads are afraid of everything. Mostly though, they're afraid of scuba bubbles. So when you're in a school of hammerheads, if you want to get them close so you can film them, you have to hold your breath and be really quiet and don't move and try to like hide in the rocks and try to like be a rock. Because if you move, if you make any bubbles, if you make any sound, if they see you, if they hear you, they're gonna freak out and they're gonna bolt in all directions and you won't see any more hammerheads. They are way more afraid of us than we are of them. Scallop hammerhead sharks have a very high infant mortality rate, which is to say the babies don't survive that well. Because when they're born, it's like sayonara, see you later, and the college for you, I'm not gonna help you in any way, see ya. And most of them don't survive to adulthood. So because of that, hammer Hammerheads have more pups than the average shark. They're so cute, little, little cute. I like pups. Most sharks, eh, two to four, six pups. Scalloped hammerheads have dozens of pups just to deal with the fact that most of them don't survive to adulthood. Scalloped hammerheads tend to have very defined and repeatable pupping grounds where they pup every single year. For example, Keniohe Bay in Hawaii is a well-known scalloped hammerhead pupping ground, and there's almost always pups to be found there. So there's a population of sharks that always gives birth to their pups right in that bay. Most sharks can settle down on the bottom and breathe by just gulping water to ventilate their gills. The hammerhead shark can't do that. So scalloped hammerheads are swimming all the time. They have to always be swimming at least a little bit just to keep that water moving through their gills to keep them alive. The hammerhead shark has some of the best vision in the animal world. Their eyes are way out on the ends of their hammer. Researchers just recently found out that they can see in stereoscopic vision, which means that they can see forward with both eyes just like we can, but also they can see behind themselves, above and below. They have the best eyesight of all sharks. I could be wrong, but probably not. Hammerhead sharks have a giant thing that looks like a wing on their head. And this is no coincidence, it is a wing. It provides lift. Now, a lot of sharks have big, giant pectoral fins to do the same thing. But with hammerheads, they share some of the lift with their head and their fins. So their fins can be smaller. So between the lift on the head and the lift on the fin, they're very maneuverable. If you ever see a hammerhead when it gets freaked out, they can turn on a dime because of the mass of their head and the fact that they have small pectoral fins, but they get some extra lift from that cephalofoil shaped head. That was succinct, I think. Well, that's everything I could fit in on scalloped hammerheads, but if you want to know more, check out the Jonathan Bird's Blue World episode on scalloped hammerheads linked right down there. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can learn everything there is about sharks.